Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and to the little glider. So, it's been some time since the last update, I've been keeping busy with other things, let's say it like that. But also I've done some progress with the little glider. So, um, the key thing that I've managed to do is to configure the flapperongs, which is great, because it took me a long time to figure it out. But uh, not only that, I've done a little bit of improvements, I've put magnets onto the cockpit. I won't put it on now because the battery is hanging outside so I'm hoping that like that the cockpit is safe on. I probably will still keep the rubber band on it just in case. I don't want to lose the, the canopy and the, the battery cover. I've also had issues with the rudder that it somehow gets loose so I still want to improve it a little bit. And another challenge that I have is that sometimes the elevator gets stuck. I think now, now is the moment that the elevator actually has has jammed and that what I have to do then is to somehow force the servo a little bit that it unjams. Now this is very bad of course, especially if it happens in the air. So it could spell disaster, D-I-S and so on. So a little bit of improvements there but the, the big thing that I've managed to do is to configure the 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 radio master actually one thing that i had done in the past is i put in rates so for example there i don't know if you can see there the the ailerons and i've got rates i don't know here they have them i had them before but i figured out that i need the full throw of them uh, i think also for the elevator now the elevator again is stuck that's so bad this is so bad if it happens in flight right might need to switch the I need to switch the um, the server because if it happens in flight, it's really bad. So there's the elevator. I don't know if you can see it back there. And with the rates, I have it on a switch here. But anyhow, as I say, I typically keep it on on the full movement. Um, and then the flapperons. The flapperons are the most interesting part. The big challenge I had was that I I managed to configure it. I followed the video. Let's see if I find it. I put it in the links in the link in the description to configure all the all the channels that I have also in the, the flapperons but the challenge was that when I was putting it in because for the flapperons you need to not use the Y cable but have a separate channel for each for each aileron but when I did it then one of the servers just started to spin and it wouldn't work so what I managed to figure out and let's see if I can see it here no sorry let's see I'm not good at this still so Return, return, there it is. I managed to find out, and I don't know if you can see this, I changed the background, that there is a button that is called this one. Disable channel mapping. I don't know if you can see it. I found it from another video. Basically, it, forces, it does not force the configuration of the aileron, elevator, throttle and rudder. So I had to mark that. Once I mark that, all the configuration that I'd done actually started to work. And let's see if I can show you here also. Here you can see the the ailerons. I have there the I think I have on the one hand I've got the what's it called? The rates, but also I've got then the the flaps, right? So let's see if I've got no, these are the rates. What you can see here is the rate because it's on the SD. But then I also managed somehow, and I'm not sure where and how I can see them, to put the, the, the flapper on. So basically, as you can see, let's see if you can see there, those are the ailerons. And uh, on one of these, yeah, on this knob I put it, on SA, and I'm not sure, I can't see it now here, but it's somewhere. It's got to be somewhere. SA... SE, what does SE do? Maybe that is, that's SE actually, yes, so it's in, on this, on the mixes, SE, if I flip this, then the, the ailerons go down, acting as flaps a little bit, and I've got two positions, right, so one quite drastic probably would be enough, and still with a bit of throw, and then one that I think goes pretty much to almost all the throw, I think I put it at, what is it? I don't know now how much, but basically the idea is that when I'm coming into land, I can flip this 
and put it onto the flap mode still have some control and then maybe even go into the maximum flap and try to slow down the, the the landing speed so that's something I've been wanting to do and it took me a long time until I found that there was that other configuration that button in the other in the first page of the configuration so so I'm happy about that um, and then other than that I think that's that's pretty much it right some some improvements as I say on the radar I still need to improve it a little bit uh, and then other than that what I have to do is to figure out how to get it to fly ah yeah one more thing that I also found in another video is that I turned the engine off so I put onto this one let's see if you can hear it it tells me that the engine is off just as a safety precaution just have to be careful not to put it on the when it's flying right so now I have the engine on so it will turn and then engine off. so even if I knock it around because I'm clumsy then the engine stays off so a bit of a safety precaution there probably other things that can be done a lot of no not probably for sure a lot of other things that can be done so trying to discover the radio part and uh, as I mentioned now I have to wait for relatively good weather low wind and try to fly it again and try the flapper downs in any case I leave it there thank you everybody for following along and all your comments and and tips and tricks and I'll see you next time